number one Iron Age booty daddy. Another day, another Star Wars property being ransacked down the entertainment economy like a hot dog down a sad, woefully empty hallway where people may used to have resided. Although that might not make sense to you, ladies and gentlemen, a new Star Wars game is on the way. It is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Now, I have not done any Star Wars content on the channel. Why? Because I genuinely don't like Disney Star Wars. However, something piqued my interest, let's say, and oh boy, I have to talk about it. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and ring the notification bell for the channel. Jedi Survivor is going to be the follow-up game to the 2019 Star Wars game that was released, which was what, Fallen Order, I believe. And as it, as it stands, the time-tested article of clickbait is the best Star Wars game since Knights of the Old Republic, as is every Star Wars game that they that comes out. And I have to ask myself, why do these people even compare some of these games to Knights of the Old Republic? Now, for those of you who are old enough to remember Knights of the Old Republic, I'm I'm sorry, you're you're like me. You're an old now. I apologize. We're just we're there. It's it's sad. But if you are an old like me and actually played the game within a few years of it coming out or when it was released, you might actually remember that Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic in the RPG style that it was, wasn't even the best in that time period. There were RPG systems out there that were much better at the time. I mean, one could... One ultimately could have looked at Knights of the Old Republic and said that the RPG system that they employed, especially on console, boy howdy, especially on console, was literally a kind of knockoff of better games that we had seen from Final Fantasy. But Knights of the Old Republic did something that no other... Star Wars game and what very few games had done at that time was able to do. Did I say that right? Knights of the Old Republic did something and not a lot of the games was able to do. And that is tell an unbelievably incredible story. You see, from the moments where you start out and you obviously see the bombardment of cities and a ship that you're on, and then you wake up and all of a sudden you're a grown ass man and you've gotta be trained as a Jedi Padawan. You then go on a long adventure where you have to take out the Darth Lord Malak. And through these various adventures, you grow in power, you start to learn the world, you start to understand and fill in the pieces of what was the Jedi Civil War and then the Mandalorian War before it. And as you go on, you start to find out in one critical scene amongst all of it. You are, in fact, Darth Revan. The man who was the commander of the guy you're going to fight, Darth Malak. That's right. You were the subject of sabotage. Now, that scene, that reveal in the Knights of the Old Republic is tantamount to comparable to the I am your father scene. And that is one of the reasons, that is the reason that Knights of the Old Republic stands to this day as a paramount, a beacon of what fantastic Star Wars storytelling can actually be. You see, it wasn't the fantastical uh, graphics of the time, because even those weren't as good as some other games of its time. We still had games out there. K keep in mind, Halo was out at the time, and Halo was doing very well on the graphical front. You had many other games out there at the time as well, doing quite well in the graphics area. But what it was is the monumental storytelling. 
The idea that you can have a character that you're playing along with and you find out that, no, you are not the father. Hashtag, rest in peace, Jerry Springer. But you are, in fact, the villain of the story. And the reason all of the things that are happening in this world are happening because of actions you took. The I am Revan scene, as I will call it, is iconic and iconic for a reason. It essentially canonized in the minds of millions of people a Darth Lord that we will never get to see on screen. And something that, that even the best people who know Star Wars can still say they don't know all about his character because his character was then shrouded in myth years later. You see a man who delved in the light, then delved in the dark, then delved in the light again, then potentially delved in the dark and then disappeared off into the ether and then possibly became the force itself. We're not really sure what happened to Revan, but you're telling me that Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to be on par with the storytelling of Knights of the Old Republic. You see, the modern gaming engines can absolutely beat the pants off of the older gaming engines, which I believe was 2003 when... 2003, yes, I believe, when the first Knights of the Old Republic came out. Because <clears throat> the second one was 2005, and it was horribly rushed, and there was a lot of things in the development of that game. But the modern gaming engines can absolutely beat the pants off of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. But are you telling me that today's modern writers are going to beat the pants off of the I Am Revan scene? Really? The dialogue between Revan and Malak. Bastila Shan. No. Eh, I don't think so. I'm quite certain that Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to be a moderately okay, fun-to-play game that's going to take way too much time and not have the semblance of a story that the Knights of the Old Republic had when it was released. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for checking out this video. I do appreciate all of you here. And never forget, I dedicate a very special live stream to all of you every single Sunday at 11 a.m. It's called Sunday Coffee. And I look forward to seeing you all there. So until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.